you know, clearly we're living in times which are contentious, uh, not just here, but uh, all, all around the world. Uh, and as advocates for cultural expression and art, that's not something we want to see. The law has, has changed. Uh, we feel, you know, at this point we feel optimistic uh, that so many galleries have come, and so many people are out looking and thinking and enjoying art. At that point, that's, that's all we can hope for. We end up with a kind of broken art world rather than one that's complete. Um, and, you know, this is, this is the real impact of the law. I think it limits it. It limits it to a kind of art market that is more conventional, uh, which doesn't involve much of some of the more interesting work that happens in the world. It is an art market which, in a sense, colludes with the government to prevent a certain range of expression from occurring. I think some of the artists who want to do that, I mean, they'll probably honestly have to be outside Hong Kong. So far, um, we have um, never really experienced any difficulties, um, and we have, um, you know, operated the shows um, the same way since the beginning of 2013. Um, and um, there is only um, one selection process um, in during the entire um, art fair, which is um, the selection committee um, process, which um, take place in every single art Basel shows around the world. You see from today that everyone is still very active. Um, there isn't anyone who, well, at least as far as I know, there isn't anyone who refused to come because of uh, of this new law. So uh, as at the current moment, I, I don't see any um, impact yet.